So you might be in a position where you actually want to go ahead and maybe refund an app store purchase that you made on your iPhone. So maybe you accidentally purchased an iPhone app and maybe you want to return it. Well, to do this, it's very, very easy. As long as the application is within a certain threshold, I think it's within like 30 minutes or a few days after you purchase the application, you can go and get it refunded. So basically the way to do it starting off is you want to go to this website right here, which is reportaproblem.apple.com. So all you want to do is go to this website first. Again, reportaproblem.apple.com. In this case, we'll just go and click here. It's going to take you to this website. Now it's going to tell you to log in. So we're going to go ahead and log in. Now, once you go ahead and log in, you'll basically get into this prompt. Now it's going to ask us, you know, what can you help with or what can we help with? You want to click, I would like to request a refund. So here you can go and click request a refund. It's going to tell us more and you can say, I didn't mean to buy this, uh, whatever other thing is, whatever, you know, my purchase doesn't work as expected, or maybe you can set it up, or what, you know, if you didn't mean to buy this, whatever. Now it's going to say you may lose access to refunded items, so keep that in mind. And here it's going to tell you to search for that item. So in this case, I don't have any you know, purchases that are eligible. Now if you did have purchases that were eligible, maybe you bought a certain game, or maybe you purchased whatever the case is, well, those specific purchases would come here, and instead of searching it, you could just find them here. Now, if it says what like how it is for mine that I have no purchases that are eligible for a refund, well, that basically means that either it's been exp too long since I bought that application and I can't actually you know refund it. Maybe that means that maybe the maybe I didn't even buy it. Maybe it was just a free download or there was like a beta version that I was able to download. But basically, this means that you didn't buy the application and or you bought the application and it's just not eligible for a refund anymore. So. If you do see that application, click on it, and you should be able to refund it at that point. So that is pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.